you weren't being yourself and that you were kind of channeling that anxious energy into, you know, whether it was not eating enough because you felt nervous or, you know, just not being the confident book that I know and love, the stress of your very demanding job, um, kind of reaching a climax. I went home and actually like cried myself to sleep because I didn't feel like worthy or I was like accepted there. But I mean, those are my struggles with mental health. And I think I'm pretty honest about my eating disorder to my friends, maybe to a fault, maybe where it's like you guys no. still don't take on that emotional burden. But. I don't, I think it's actually the opposite about that. I think how vocal that you've always been about it, um, it has made it just easier for the people who love you and the people around you to understand and accept it. That, you know, you might not always look at food the same way that we do. Um, so I think that being vocal about that with the people that you care about is really important and, and really helpful. Things tend to seem like so big and heavy in the present, but, you know, when you get past it, you'll always be able to look back and, you know, not only see all the good that was there, but also realize that like, you were really doing everything right. Right. Yeah. 